welcome back to a new video. Ooh, I'm actually doing some acrylic nails. I've done these ages ago and I've been hanging on to the video and hanging on to it. And I'll, I'll tell you why, because I just feel like, I feel like everything in it was sloppy. But now watching it back, I'm thinking it's actually, it's not as bad as what I thought it was. So this is a lesson to all of us. Um, if you don't do something for a long time, you will get out of practice. And look, look how, look, look how dusty these are. Oh my days. Um, I need to dust my shelves actually, it's disgraceful. Um, so these acrylic colours and acrylic powders are from Rachel Wilders. I will leave her her website link down below. I absolutely love her acrylic. <coughs> um, so I've got all those colours that I showed you and the glitter that I'm using is from Nail Sugar of course and it's called Happy Bunny. I'm just going to tip it out into a tray. I don't think, I feel like I don't do any justice here. It's actually really nice. You'll see it on the nail in a, in a, in a bit. But that is, that is the glitter. You can get 10% off at Nail Sugar using my code NATMUG10. I'm also using my Aliana hand. This is my half hand in shade Autumn. This is the Anais hand and it's the lifelike one. Um, I absolutely love it and I do have a discount code I think it's natmug5 but I'll put it down below there anyway um, you can get 5% off when you order um, they are a little bit more on the pricey side but I in this case you absolutely get what you pay for um, they're well worth the money so um, I have used my Sarah Burchett Elite TX Coffin Tips I think that's what they're called um from yeah from old uh old Birchit. she's not old i shouldn't say that she would, she'd say she is old but she's not really old she's not she's not much older than me actually um in fact i think we're pretty much the same age nearly maybe she's like a year older than me i don't know actually i'm not sure anyway who cares no one <laughs> I'm going to have to ask her now, actually. Uh, right, so to start with, we are putting a... I've put my tips on and I've just blended them a little bit. And uh, what I'm doing is I'm just applying a clear base now. So this is going to even everything out. And I mean, I don't really need to do this because this is not a real client. This is what you, you would... this the clear, the clear layer under the design always helps if you are filing off your design um and you want to go in with a new one then you can you can file back to that clear base <coughs> or that clear layer uh then i think this one is called so be it i honestly can't remember but this is going to be a full nail i tell you what didn't help you see my my brush that is a brush that if you see it's actually only half a brush at the moment because the the lid bit you take off and you pop it on the end of the brush and it makes the barrel of the brush no it makes the not the barrel of the brush it makes the bit that you hold well mine kept slipping off i don't know if it's because i'm wearing a glove on this hand but it kept wanting to fall off so i've literally only got like half a brush and it's really awkward to hold half a brush while doing acrylic nails so i'm gonna have to dig out actually i have got another acrylic brush here but i don't know what it is um i can't work with brushes that have lids as the brush does that make sense i need it to be a brush with a fixed handle i think that's the right word so that is something i've come to learn after doing this design but um if you you know if you don't do something for a long time you are going to get rusty so don't do what i do um if you don't have clients that don't like acrylic or don't you don't do acrylic a lot maybe get yourself a little practice hand or get some you don't even need a practice hand actually get some tips do a little design on some tips just to keep yourself from getting rusty like I do. <laughs> I, I am extremely rusty. Uh, but I, I tell you, the reason why I haven't done acrylic over winter is although I have my Vodex machine, I like to have the... I only live in a small flat. Um, so I like to have more, all, my, all my windows open when I'm doing acrylic. So come the summer, when it warms up a little bit, um, it was actually quite a warm day when I done this set. We had a little bit of a what they called a heat wave back in March, and um, I I managed to have my windows open to do this set. So uh, yeah, and I didn't actually get my Vodex machine out. It's, it's just I think some of it is laziness on my part. But I'm using the um, I'm just I've got I took tiny little wet beads of clear acrylic to pick up that acrylic to pick up that glitter. Sorry. Um, for that and then I've done a full nail of obviously 
whatever that color was i think it was so be it then this now is going to be a marble now but i like to put a i like to put a, i like to make my cuticle area nice and neat before i start my marble so i'm going to add some beads of color um i should have put the white on first i do i do sort it out it's because i haven't done it for a long time so yeah i'm just trying to marble it through and just make it look half decent some people double dip their brush into different colors um some people put wet beads on like i'm doing and mix it up like this you will kind of find what works for you um yeah some people do i don't know there's all different kinds of ways of doing marbles but this is how i done it on this particular day <laughs> I'm just mixing up all those. This is this is that light purpley, lilac-y, pinky colour. Um, so I used like that and the white as well. But like all the colours that I got out, I'm kind of mixing them up and throwing them on this nail. Because I do like a purple, as you all well know. And it yellow. Um it looks like it's getting quite thick, but I don't they're not actually like when I when I when I when I uh oh well, we're doing a marble on here as well, but I'm just going to marble about three quarters of the nail. So I start about halfway down the nail, actually. But I do go up a little bit as well. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like a, a an ombre with the nude over the top of this marble. I, I must say I do I do find gel polish marbles a lot easier than acrylic. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna add a little bit of white up here and a little bit more purple, just because I felt like it needed to go up a little bit more. Then I'm gonna take some of the I think the the nude that I used was called truffle, and I'm just putting a, a little bead at the top to go over that first bit of marble. And then I'm going to take a bigger bead and I'm going to make sure that my cuticle area is nice and neat. And then I'm going to blend that down again. And that's going to be our a little marble ombre type thing. I don't know what you want to call it. <laughs> this nail I should have done first, but I honestly, I was just winging it because I didn't have a clue what I wanted to do. My bead, my acrylic bead, I'll tell you what I'm not very good at. <clears throat> my liquid to be liquid to powder ratio i'm still not very good at that and also this brush is quite a big one i don't know what size it is but it's quite big so it actually holds a lot of moisture in the brush and i feel like i should have um i should have dabbed the brush onto my paper towel before i put it onto the nail um but i'll tell you what didn't happen this time um, I didn't get right where I've put another bead on sometimes I will get marks in the acrylic where I've put another bead on top you know you know so some of you will know what I mean when you when you use a different liquid to powder ratio, when you haven't got the same ratio in your beads sometimes you get little it looks almost like a marbled mark where your beads are different consistencies I didn't actually get that this time so I'm doing something right but I think it was a fluke <laughs> <laughs> more than anything so again i'm just making sure my cuticle area is nice and neat and i am going to go over that again because I, I always find when i do nails like this that i always add too much product but i think it's okay because if i add too much i can file it away do you know what i mean um, and I'm going to leave that to set up. I actually really, really don't like the, see, look, too much, too much liquid in my brush. <gasps> Way too much. I've got to, I've got to get, I'm still, I don't know. That's something I've always, always struggled with, with acrylic. Sorry about my children. <laughs> They're noisy. In fact, maybe I'll go over here because it might be a little bit less noisy over here. Um, I think I'll sit on the bed. I ache a bit this morning. By the way, it's early morning. I'm doing this. It's probably about nine o'clock in the morning. I've just had my breakfast. <laughs> so 
So yeah, so we're now capping this nail and it looks like I'm putting masses on, but I, I'm actually, I'm really not putting that much on. I don't think I am, but you'll see, I'm gonna show you at the very end, I will show you the, the structure of the nails and you, I think it's just the shape of the tips because they're a lot, uh, because they're long tips and I actually cut some of the length off them. So where they are more tapered at the end, they're not as tapered like halfway down. Does that make sense? So they, it just makes them look a little bit wider. I should sculpt, but I'm too lazy to sculpt. So there we go. I just want to make sure that I've got enough product on there to, to make my apex and everything. And I know it looks a bit messy, but it's fine because we're going to file it. And I've done the, the other two there. Um, and then now this one has set up. I'm just going to I'm going to pop the, the nail out of the hand and file. I'm just going to file around the smile line and then pop it back. I wish I'd made it more. I wish I'd elongated the smile line a bit more. It's too, um, if the nails were shorter, it would be fine. But because I've got long, because the nails are quite long, I would have liked it to have been more exaggerated. I think that's the right word. And I'm literally just gonna make this one a French nail. I, I struggle to work with white as well. And I think I put way too much white on. I'm going to put another bit where the smile line is. I know it looks messy, but when you when you file away a French nail, the it just becomes a lot neater. So although it looks messy now, don't worry about it. When we file it, that's when the magic happens. <laughs> See, look, I mean, I've put loads on. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, we're gonna file, I'm gonna file them. And now I've filed them, I know, I, I skip forward. I'm just gonna clean them with some isopropyl alcohol. Can you see what I mean? Look, I mean, they're, they're not thick. They're not thick at all. Um, I think it's just the, I think it's just the, the, because I've cut the length off the tips. I think that's all it is. Right, there we go. Okay, so, because, yeah, look, this is the, I'm just gonna show you this, the, there we go, just so you can see. See, they're not, they're not bulky or anything. I don't think they're bulky. Are they bulky? No, I think they're fine. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, because I don't like the, this smile line on this now, I'm going to exaggerate it a bit more with some, this is, um, what is it? Madame Glam Silver Gel Paint. So I'm gonna go around that smile line and I'm just gonna elongate it a little bit so that we've, like here, look, I'm gonna see how different that is. That is a massive difference, difference. I, li I do like, some people might, some people might like shorter nail beds because they're more natural. Where I, I, on long nails, I like elongated nail beds. I think they just look, I don't know what it is. I just really like them. But again, it's not going to be everyone's taste. Horses for courses. <laughs> I'm, I'm not paranoid, but I'm aware when I say that now because a couple of people have mentioned it in comments. It makes me laugh. There we go. So that's going to do. That will go in the lamp in a minute. What I'm also going to do in a minute when I finish faffing is we're going to add some of the gel paint through the marble on the pinky just so that it ties in the two the two nails so just sort of wiggle it through I'm trying to kind of follow some of the lines it doesn't have to be perfect because it's a marble there we go so they go in the lamp for 60 seconds and then it's top coat time <laughs> which I haven't said for ages so again, I'm using Madame Glam's top coat. This is their glossy top coat, glassy tackle. My son is so noisy. They're playing. I think they're playing Roblox or Fortnite. I don't know. They might even be playing Minecraft. I'm not sure. Uh, but isn't this glitter lovely? I done this. I, I can't remember what colour I put it over, 
but it looked insane it looked really nice i actually i don't feel like i think it's really pretty i just don't feel like this color does it much justice I, honestly it looks amazing but i oh, i can't remember what color i had it on i don't know but it's lovely anyway and it's one of the new limited edition ones <coughs> I'll show you a bit closer in a minute and you can have a look. I actually quite liked how that marble came out in the end. I'm worried that the nail's going to fall out my pinky nail. I don't think it will, my pinky finger. Um, the, the tips have got quite long ends on them. Oh, yeah, no, because I, yeah. Oh, I'll tell you what I've done. <coughs> I put tips on and then I put tips on tips. That's what I've done. Right, this is going to go in the lamp for 60 seconds. And then I'll give you a quick looky, looky, looky. Here they are, all done. Um, I'll show you from the side. Yeah, I actually quite like them. I'm quite happy with them. I'm going to leave Rachel Wilder's website down below so you can check her out. Don't forget you can get 10% off nail sugar using code NATMUG10. Oh, and you can also get 30% off Madam Glam using code NATMUG30. But I was quite pleased with how they turn out. Oh, and don't forget 5% off Aliana Hand using code... Mm, I'm, I'm sure it's NATMUG5, but it will be down below. There you go. I hope you like this video. If you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. God bless. And I will see you all, hopefully, on Thursday. <laughs> Love you all. Bye.